All right guys, Paco Slim here, and because I had a little extra time to actually record, I'm gonna take the advantage to do the character breakdown for The Flash. So, this is the final midweek character breakdown because I didn't get a chance to play as anyone released after PAX. So that means no Green Arrow or Catwoman, and definitely not Joker or Green Lantern, so sorry about that. However, I can do Flash, because you know, he was in the demo. So Flash. Flash is an up-close and personal character, but I don't know if he really counts as a power character. Because he doesn't use gadgets, but I don't know if he really uses power? I mean, if power is referring to superpowers, then I guess he counts as that. But since he doesn't, like, have the strength to p throw cars at people, I hesitate to call him a gadget character. So, it's kind of a preference thing. I guess I'm going to choose to call him a power character because he uses superpowers, but I don't know. So, how do you use him? He is definitely a close range character. I particularly like to use him for getting in quick, dealing damage, and then getting out because he has a quick forward dash and a quick back dash. He also has this move that's good for juggling. You knock someone up in the air, you jump, and then do some sort of double stomp move. I don't remember how to do it because it's been a while. I believe it was pressing the kicks in succession. So, what is his gimmick button? His gimmick is he slows down time, or rather, he speeds up really fast. So, basically, in this you can get more combos done, because they're falling in the air slower. It just makes you stronger, but you have a limit to it. You can use it three times, and once you're not using it, it recharges. So, you can't just spam it the entire fight. His super move, everyone has seen. He runs around the planet and then punches you in the face really hard. It's really cool, and it always gets a laugh out of everybody who sees it. So, his design. His design is very similar to what we saw in DC Universe Online, and I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely not something we've really seen before, but it definitely looks like the Flash. And I'm curious to see what they do with alternate costumes. They could really do anything they want with anybody on this roster, but I'm really interested in what they do with Flash's alternates. And overall, I liked how Flash works, because I'm a close range fast fighter, so his style was perfect for me. Him and Nightwing, I'm using. So yeah, this is the last character breakdown until that game actually does come out, in which case, like I've said before, I'll redo everybody with actual footage from the game. Now I'm going to address something, um, the character hint that we were given being Billy Squire. I'm pretty sure this refers to Deathstroke. Some people have said Shazam. I don't think it is referencing Shazam at all because the Billy thing, that, that is just too obvious. I've seen some people suggest the Squire, that's also way too obvious. So I'm, I'm throwing out Shazam and Squire. I don't think those are suggestions. However, I did see some people saying Aquaman, and I, I, th I kind of get where they're going from that. Because the song Billy Squire is most famous for is The Stroke. I took that to meaning Deathstroke. Some people took that to meaning Aquaman because, you know, he strokes through the water. So, for me, it's a toss-up between it could be Deathstroke, but if they wanted it to be Aquaman, I could see what they did there. Anyway, until the game comes out, see ya.